we exchanged numbers and I would climb with them. They became my first climbing partners. Then another struggle. I remember one day it was a Friday night. Most climbers go to this place uh, in Davies called Riverside, Riverside Market. Okay. It's like a, it looks like a 7-Eleven because you just grab the drinks from the doors and then you pay for, you take the cans up and you pay in the front. Okay. They invited me after a good long climbing session. There was like a little click in the gym. They're like, hey, we want you to join the click. Let's go. And I said, are you guys going to go home and shower? That was the first thing I said. Because my mind, going back to what I said, I hated being sweaty. I hated like the idea of not looking so pristine. Right. And I was, you know, I'm full of chalk. I'm sweaty. I'm like beat up a little bit. Right, right. And they're like, no, 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 we, we just go. And I promise you, I sat in my car. He gave me the address and I sat in my car and I said, I had told him, by the way, I had told him, and this was my default answer to anybody. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll go. <laughs> in my mind, I said, I'm going home. Not going to do it. I'm going to give an excuse. Mm -hmm. But I sat in my car and I don't know whose voice it was, but it surely was in my voice. And it said, just go. Like, what's the worst that could happen? So you're breaking all forms of barriers at this mm -hmm. point. Okay. And I, I sat in my car for 15 minutes having a, a debate with myself. Pros and cons, pros and cons, pros and cons. Oh, my goodness, man. And eventually I I put it on drive and I said, let's just drive. And I just went. Okay. And I that is the one moment where I said my life changed. I it was the one moment where I felt I grabbed a sledgehammer and broke down a wall. Another barrier broken. Another barrier broken. And from that moment I felt, okay, I could talk to people now. 